Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how to choose whether you want to use the mean, the median, or the mode to represent the center of some data. All right, so to make this decision, first of all, I should say this decision often takes um, a lot of thoughtfulness, and often there's not a clear answer. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there's um, one of these that really is sort of doesn't really make sense, um, isn't really meaningful. Um, but often, like two different ones, uh, could be a really good measure of sexual tendency. Um, and sometimes we like to just actually report all three uh, because they all tell us different information. But I'm still going to go through some examples uh, to help you decide which ones might be the best in different contexts. All right, so to decide. Um, what you need to do, the main thing you need to do, is look at, like, just think about what each one of them means, and think, like, is this important in the context that I'm working in? So remember that the mean is the fair share value. Um, so exa for example, I made a little video with some people holding ice cream cones. I'll uh, link to it in the corner up here, um, if you haven't seen it. Um, if the people were sharing their ice cream, the mean is really, it's a really good measure of sort of the, the average. If the people are not sharing, it maybe doesn't um, is not as good of, as a, of a measure of average. Um, the other thing about the mean, which also we talked about in that video, is it can be really affected by outliers. Um, so if you have one number that's much, much bigger than the others, um, it really throws off the mean. Sometimes that's what you want, but sometimes it can be a problem. So you really want to think, is this outlier a particularly important number, and are we kind of sharing these? Um, or if not, we might not want to choose the mean. All right, so the median is, of course, the number that's in the middle, um, and half the values are bigger than it, and half the values are smaller. And the mode is the most common value. Um, so some things to remember about the mode when we're choosing is it, the mode makes sense even if the numbers, the data values aren't numbers, um, where the mean and median don't. If you're looking at uh, favorite colors, uh, it makes sense to talk about the mode, but it does not make sense to talk about the mean or median. Um, and another thing about the mode is it's most useful if there aren't very many possible answers or very many possible data values. Um, for example, if you're talking about favorite colors and people are only allowed to choose, say, the colors of the rainbow, um, then the mode might be really useful, might give you a lot of information. But if you're talking about a mark on a test and people could get sort of any one of a hundred different percent marks, then maybe the mode is less useful. Okay, we're going to do four examples. The first two are actually really similar, but I'm going to give different answers for them. Um, and that's why I wanted to show the two to compare them. Oh, and actually, before we do this too, the last, another little thing I want to add. It's just a thing to think about. So I'm going to put it in a little thought bubble. Um, sometimes this affects what you're going to choose. If you have a particular thing you want to do with this number, why do I want this number? Um, sometimes it affects... Like if your motivation um, might affect which value you're choosing. For example, if you really want the number to be bigger, to be small, you might choose one or another. Okay, so uh, the first example here is the average amount I earn in tips per week. So I'm going to start with the mode, actually. I'm going to say that the mode is not a very good measure of average here. The amount I earn in tips per week, say I'm a server at a restaurant. Um, especially if I'm being really precise with my numbers. If one week I earn $125.37, like is it really meaningful if a few weeks later I also earn $125.37? I don't think that's particularly important because there's so many different possibilities for how much I could earn. Um, now, between the mean and the median, I think these would both be useful. Um, and actually, it probably depends on what kind of a, of a spender you are. I think if you save up your money, it's sort of like you're sharing your money with your future self. So imagine that you had one week that was really big. If you're kind of spreading that out, like in the way that you spend it, if you spread it out over several weeks, then I think the mean is best. Because that, um, that one outlier will maybe throw off your mean, but... If it really affects, if it's a good representation of how much money you have each week, then this could be the best choice here. I'm going to say, for many people, this will be the best choice. And the median will also be a good choice. Uh, if you tend to spend your money as soon as you have it, then maybe the median will be a better representation. 
All right, now, this one's really similar. The average amount a server, let's say a server in the same restaurant, earns in tips per week. And I'm actually going to give a different answer. I'm going to say the mode is not very good for the same reason. But here I'm going to say that the median is best. And the mean is okay. That's fine. Um, and here, it has to do with sharing. So we'll say... I share with myself because I save up my money from one week and spend it a different week. But usually the servers might they might not share with each other. Um, in which case, I think the median, just the number that's sort of halfway, half the people earn more and half the people earn less, that might be the best representation of how much they earn. Now, of course, uh, if it's a restaurant where everybody pools the tips, um, then the mean would actually be the amount that everybody makes, that would be the share, fair share of value. So I guess for this question, we're assuming that um, the servers are not sharing. All right, next example. How did a class do on this test? All right, I wanna talk about the mode first again. Um, and I think whether the mode is a good answer depends a lot on um, what the grades look like. For example, I know sometimes uh, some teachers grade out of four, so the possible options are one, two, three, and four. In that kind of case where there aren't very many options, I think the mode would be really good. So let's put maybe. Um, if your possible grades were A, B, C, D, F, maybe, um, then that the mode might also be really good. Maybe if... So I'm going to write maybe if there aren't many possible grades. Sorry, that's a bit hard to read. Maybe if there aren't many possible grades. But if it was out of 100, um, especially if you could get half points, so if there were like 200 different possible options, I think the mode wouldn't necessarily be very meaningful. The mean, I'm going to say again that the mean might be good. Um, so the mean is maybe the best representation of the middle, um, but I'm going to write we have to be careful of outliers. So if you look at the data set, if there are some outliers, one thing that I would wonder about if it's a class on a test, if there's a bunch of zeros, um, you want to really think about do I, am I satisfied with the amount that the outliers affect the mean, because they'll really have a big pull on it. And I think the median is likely the best because of this risk of outliers here. All right, for the fourth question, what's the most popular professional sport? Um, this one is one where there's only one good answer here. Um, so the possible answers people might give, they might say like, oh, basketball, the NBA is my favorite, or uh, I'm a hockey fan, uh, the NHL is my favorite pro sports league. Um, so we can't find the mean of those because the values, the answers they might give are not numbers. So, no. And same with the median. We can't find the median of them. Um, so the mode is the only good answer here. Um, and that's also is, uh, it will exactly help you find the answer. If the most people say basketball, then basketball is the mode. Um, and that's the most popular pro sport. All right, so overall, as you're trying to decide which measure of central tendency to use, there may well be more than one good answer. Think about what they mean, um, and think about uh, outliers. Try to get a global view of it. And two um, reasonable people may disagree, um, but try to have a good reasoning for why you've chosen one or the other. All right, good luck.